It's nice out today. It's a little cold, but it's nice. The sun was out before I came outside, but then it magically went behind a cloud. Maybe it'll come out again during this walk. This morning, I got an email from a subscriber here on the channel. And the person was having problems with focus. And so this is something that I see a lot. But this was a little bit different. This person was struggling with focus because they were lonely. They said that they were in a relationship, not a very long one, a couple weeks, and it just ended abruptly. And they were just going on and on about how they couldn't focus and all he could do was, you know, think about her. And so I wanted to make this video to talk about loneliness because I don't think I've ever discussed that as a topic on this channel. And I want to emphasize that this doesn't just apply to, you know, relationships, you know, like, you know, boy meets girl, you know, they break up. This also applies to friendships because I know that mathematics and a lot of people who watch these videos study math or other STEM disciplines, they take a lot of time. It takes a lot of time to study these hard things. Hard things take time. And when you spend incredible amounts of time working on something hard, what happens is it, it takes away from other aspects of your life. I mean, personally speaking, I remember when I was an undergrad, uh, there was a girl I was, I was seeing and I am pretty sure, I mean, yeah, it didn't work because I spent so much time studying, right? I just basically didn't spend time with her because I was focusing on mathematics. And so that happens, right? You have to make sacrifices. And I'm not saying you should do that. I'm not saying I made the right choice. Hopefully you can't hear that car alarm. It's gone. But stuff like this happens. And so let's talk about loneliness. Let's talk about what it means. I think the message I want to send is that it's not bad to be lonely. It's not bad. It's power. And here's why. When you're by yourself, that's when you have all of your energy, right? For example, the person who emailed me this morning, their entire email was focused on how they couldn't focus because of, of this girl. So they're spending all of their energy on another person when instead their energy needs to be spent on what they're trying to do on mathematics. And so it's about energy, right? Because when you're by yourself, when you're working in solitude, when you're alone, a lot of times that's where your best work comes from, right? That, that's when you can figure out those proofs. That's when you can figure out the code if you're a programmer or figure out that physics problem. That's a lot of times when those breakthroughs come, when people work in solitude, when they single task for a long period of time. And so if you're a lonely person, if you have no friends, if you have no significant other, if you're alone in this world, in some sense, it's a superpower, right? Loneliness is a superpower in some sense. Now, I'm not saying, you know, you don't need other people and it's not important. Sure, human connection is important. It's normal to seek human connection and, and friends. I mean, it's why Facebook groups exist, right? People want to connect with other people. Some people cherish community. I'm not saying you should become a hermit and, and go live in a hut or under a bridge. What I'm saying is that you can use this situation as a power. You can use it as strength and it will make you stronger. So if you're sitting there thinking like, oh, you know, I wish I had more friends or, oh, you know, I wish I had a, a girlfriend to go out with on Saturday night. Well, if you don't, what do you have instead? You have your time, you have your energy, and you can use that and focus that on what you can control, right? Whatever your goals are, whether it be mathematics, whether it's with physics, computer science, whatever it is you're trying to work on, to build, to create, to do, to succeed at, you can spend that time 
focusing on that instead of worrying about saying, oh, hey, you know, I don't have anyone else. I'm lonely because that, my friends, is not a productive use of your energy. And, and the email was long. I mean, the guy was, I was going to make a video and, and read it, but it didn't really seem like something anyone would want to hear because it was such a long, I mean, it was just, the guy was really distraught. So hopefully the person watches this video and the message again is use your energy for productive things. Don't, don't let anyone take your energy. So if you're lonely, again, what happens is you're thinking, oh, you know, a lot of times it's because of a significant other. You're letting someone else take your energy. You can't do that. You can't do it. You have to focus your energy, right? Guard your time and, and focus your energy. There's only so much time on earth. And during that time, you can use it or you can not use it. When you do use it, it takes energy. And so you only have so much energy in a day. So you need to basically allocate your energy to your most purposeful tasks, whatever those may be, right? If it's mathematics, physics, getting in shape, whatever it is you're trying to do, spend time doing those things. So yeah, kind of a, a random video. I just wanted to talk about it because there's a lot of stuff out there about, you know, people are like, oh, I'm lonely, this and that. And, and you know, em embrace what you have. Because you're alone, you have more time. You have freedom, right? Think about it. Think about, and, and I see this a lot because I, I, I taught for years. I had students who were in their 40s, 50s, right? had full-time jobs, three, four kids, a wife. I mean, they were never alone. They never had time, right? So they were always busy because they had work, they had kids, they had a wife relationship, the wife has family, they have sisters. It's, this, it's a whole, it's a whole family, you know, families unite when people get married, right? Whereas the single guy or the single girl who's 23, 24 years old, this individual has way more time to focus on their studies than someone who has a full life. So if you're lonely, appreciate your independence. Right, because someday, <laughs> someday, you, you might have a family. You might have, you might be busy like that 45-year-old who, who's got a wife and kids and tons of responsibilities. Embrace what you have and protect it. And make the best of your situation. Right? Make the best of, of your situation. Yeah, kind of a rant video. But what do you all think about this? Do you think that loneliness can be viewed as a superpower? What do you think? I'm sorry about my voice. I'm still, <clears throat> I'm still a little sick. So I wanted to get out of the house. I uh, had a cold. It was a really weird cold. Like, I don't know, like a couple weeks ago, I had a sore throat, like really, really bad. Then it went away. And then my nose got a little clogged. Then I started coughing a little bit, but just a cold. I'm, I'm good. But yeah, I don't know. Random. Stay strong, my friends.